We are watching Michael Jordan wearing the black and silver Air Jordan 5. He debuted them in the 1990 All-Star Game and wore them throughout the 1990 playoff run. He also wore them for his second home video, Michael Jordan's Playground. As usual, highlights first, commentary after. Enjoy. Ignore this guy. He's got the group and he's overplayed. He's for people who really aren't zeroed in on magic, that's his new shot. He's moving things around in the last quarter, try to find the fine best. Magic's the lead man. Jordan comes in. First assist of the All-Star game. This one, Thomas, through the legs of a defender to Michael Jordan. Right through the legs. A fantastic backdoor move. Here's Elijah Wong. Now, how about this block coming from the opposite side by Jordan? Sort of a rebound off of Ewing. Thomas. <laughs> Is that every time the West misses an easy opportunity, he's making it. Michael Jordan. Now, watch how Michael Jordan comes down in. You know, he's being defended by a good coach. Kevin Jett. And then the little spin move. Here comes Jordan. It's three on two. Michael will pull up from 17. Post-up player, Ricky Pierce will post up as a guard. Michael Jordan, next four games. Jordan with the double clutch, own rebound. And the foul. Jordan has six, an opportunity for seven. Well, Del Harris wants those type of shots that quickly. The bounce pass from Jordan to Grant, who also gets fouled. Three-point opportunity. Michael Jordan made a beautiful play on that pass inside the ground. There's the rebound to Michael. Michael quickly down the court. He gets in front of Humphreys. I'm in front of uh, Robertson. And now on the left, a nice bounce pass to the streaking Grant. Lowhouse trailing fouls him from behind. That's why Del Harris does not want quick shots from long distance because those type of results are what can beat you in a ball game. Just his last three won't bother him. Michael Jordan. Uh, Pippen did. He's got Jordan for the jam. Jordan open for the jumper, off the glass. Jordan has 13, putting lost the ball. Hodges between his legs to Jordan, no, oh my! Oh. That brought the crowd up. Well, there you see the lost ball as Humphreys made a good penetration. Now watch Craig Hodges, he's gonna, he knows Michael's there, through the legs of the trailing Michael Jordan, who has no problem laying that one up the deck. Look at the defense. And, uh, Jordan's posted over Robertson. And Jordan has 17 rebound to go with 17 points. Been a while since Michael scored, however. Maybe now. Hands it off to Grant. Jordan with the penetration. Jordan from 19. He has 19. Jordan. Lohaus loses the handle on the ball. Ahead to Jordan. Nice feed from Pippen. Well, Chicago up to a 10-point lead. Uh, they've been able to get out and get the young people running. Look at this nice little flip touch pass on the lead to Michael Jordan after Anderson had lost the handle on the ball on his drive to the basket. Michael Jordan answers quickly. And he Jordan lost Pressy just long enough to take the 18-footer. Nice move by Jordan to, to with a V-cut into the paint. It's going to get down to it here. Bulls had led by 10, but the Bucks dug out of a hole now, so they're right in the shooting range. Jordan, hard drive to the hole. He gets the foul and the basket. Jordan has 36 and has scored Chicago's last 12 points. He's hurt, though, at least, at least shaken up a little bit as he limps. You can see the obvious pain. Let's watch the move. Michael, he gets the baseline, drives it, gets the body contact, and hits the deck pretty hard, but he's a competitor. He'll be out there. Jordan slipping on this floor. It has gotten better here in the second half. The fadeaway from Jordan. He was sliding backwards into his left when he hit that jumper. Jack Sigma will have as bad a night collectively as they did Friday night. 
Jordan. Back. The Bucks, as much as anything, was hard on the offensive glass. Jordan with the tip away and gets it back from Pippen. The Bulls lead it 18 to 8. For Jordan, who is one on three and puts it up. a minute to play now, 45 seconds to be exact, as Jordan works his way towards the baseline. Roberts. No. Pierce. Blocked by Jordan. The Bulls start the same five. Jordan. Top of the key. Jordan. Played very well. Here's Jordan. Um, in and out, and Jordan has it. Good defense by the Bulls that trip down court. Jordan to Grant. Back to Jordan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, Michael's giving credit where it was due. Hard and Grant trying to get a little bit of Michael Jordan there, taking it to the basket and dishing it to Michael. Put on the assist from Paul Pressy to go with his eight points. Jordan gets Robertson together. I don't know. That could be illegal. For three, Michael Jordan. Jordan to Cartwright on the screen and roll and back to Joel Falls and Ricky Pierce had only four points at the half has now doubled it. But Pierce powers it into the paint. It's blocked by Grant. Here comes Jordan. Five on the shot clock. Jordan fakes Pierce into the seats. Jordan from 10 over Roberts. He has the five, so they get it back to King, who goes to Jordan, who hits from the baseline. Jordan inside against Robertson. That turnaround shot is unstoppable. Anything he didn't know. Jordan from 19. 42 points for Michael Jordan. Shot clock to eight. Robertson. Played back on Jordan, so Michael just took it to the perimeter. Party. As usual, we just counter. We take it for granted, like Jordan takes that jumper. Who's now isolated on Lohaus and Roberts steps up there. Jordan's going anyway, goes to the left hand. Unbelievable. 48. Left. Out front, Jordan. Long jumper ahead of the key. Good. The game tied. 
He comes in to Jordan. Michael has only two points in the game. King picks it up ahead of the key. Backdoor cut to Jordan for the dunk. Nice play. Good pass by Stacy King. Just waited. Michael cut back door. The master of dunk gets a back door from rookie Stacy King. Michael Jordan up and powers it in. Jordan shoot. Are they aware? Here's Jordan. Two on the clock in the lane. Fade away jumper. Got it. What a tough shot by Michael Jordan to bail the Bulls out against a red light. Beyond front underneath Jordan. Fade away left baseline. Hello. Michael Jordan has eight. And the Bulls lead is ten. Here Jordan on the drive. Takes it all the way to the hoop. Scoops the shot. Good. He went right at Loha and scored. Michael's got 12. The Bulls are up 14 with 250 left in the half. Michael Jordan zigs, zags, comes down, figures he's going to get hit, throws it in over his head and catches the iron and falls on in. The half, the Chicago lead is 14. Jordan against Lohas. Long jumper right side. It's him. Michael Jordan has 16. 10 in the second quarter. Jordan again. No good. Rebound tipped out to Jordan. Takes a 20-foot jumper and hits it. Michael Jordan has given the Bulls a 25-point lead. Michael Jordan, right side, standing dribble, double teamed underneath Horace Grant. Back to Jordan, he shoots it right in the circle, good. Michael hits the shot on the right wing. About 10. 24 points for Easily to start right for the baseline jumper. Kaminsky rebound, stolen by Jordan. For the three. Sophie only one out of four from the floor. Jordan open. Hawkins, who didn't get there, Chicago, 9.15 to go, first quarter, there's Jordan down, posted inside again, and that's what Philadelphia needs to do, get themselves back together defensively. Now Hawkins pounding on Jordan, but Jordan just turns around and lays it in right in his... Boy, Michael, I don't know how he found Stacey King, with four on the shot clock, Michael Jordan. Jordan open from 18 over Anderson, Jordan has 13. That's the shot, though, that Philadelphia wants him to... Bulls by seven. Jordan just weaved his way through everybody. You see, Ron Anderson can't play him. It's not that Ron Anderson doesn't want to, but he just does not have the speed and quickness to do it. They're going to have to get the ball out of Michael. On the shot clock. Five. Jordan shooting on the run. Either. He was three of six in the first half. Michael Jordan wins through the forest and gets the game. It's a 10-point Bulls lead. Timeout, Philadelphia. One-hander that uh, did not go. Those are the ones they've got to clean up those kind of rebounds. Look at that lob to Jordan from Tiffin. Well, Philadelphia went through that in their game shoot-around today. Michael with the lob. The first time they ran the play. Tiffin from the corner doesn't get it. Long rebound to Cartwright. Knocked away by Janitsky. But inside, Jordan hammers it through and floors Barkley. It's like a heavyweight knockdown. Reminds me of Buster Douglas and Mike Tyson. That shocked everybody. This is power basketball right here. Michael Jordan goes up this and boom. <laughs> the slam. Here he comes weaving his way through a screen out to the top on the drive. Got Hawkins back on his heels. And Michael Jordan now has 28. It is a three-point Bulls lead. It keeps appearing as though the Bulls have the control of this game. And it's a three-point. There's Michael in the post again. That's where he's his best. Over the double team and the foul. Let's see if it's Mahorn or Hawkins. Mahorn comes over to give the double team. You see Scotty dropping the ball in, and Michael the hit on the wrist, and Michael was able to stick it. Here's Michael again. He has great position, beautiful entry pass, the spinning jump shot, and the score. Now three. They finally get it to Michael. That's a smart move. With two, he buries the jumper. Of course. Scott. With six on the shot clock, Jordan pulls up. He'll make a few, too. Oh, this... Philadelphia is going to have to take a day off and make some adjustments, but that front line from Philadelphia must meet the challenge. Jordan throws up the three and finds nothing but the cord. And Jordan has 39 points. Side gives it to Michael. And the first points of the night belong to Michael Jordan. To Hersey Hawkins, he has Michael Jordan on him. His first get for the night won't go, so he has missed his first one. Here come the Bulls on the run. Paxson. This is it off to Michael for three. Turnaround shot, long go. Nothing but pulls around the boards. That's it. I still think it's important to get the horns and shots like that against Bill Cartwright. And Michael is at it. Out it comes to Michael. Michael gets past everybody. For the night, we are tied at 20. Oh, what a 
pass to Michael Jordan for two more. Michael Jordan is going to be able to side with a beautiful slam dunk. You see a backdoor cut, beautiful pass. And here's going to be another look. Scotty Pippen with a beautiful pass to an isolated side. Michael Jordan has two consecutive slam dunks. Scotty Pippen sends it down to Michael. He's double teamed, gets the shot away anyway, and this one falls for him. So they're kind of stalled right now. They're going around a half court. Well, Chicago right now, the team they have on the floor, really Michael Jordan is the only prime time scorer they have with Pippen out. He's the only creator. All these other guys will feed off what Michael does. He's going to have. There's the turnover taken away by Michael. Michael made seven of his first 11 field goals, missed six of his last seven. Horace Grant again. This is when he's at his best in the open floor. Michael with a strip. He's going to take it up the floor. Horace Grant running hard on the outside. Now, Horace Grant had two baskets in the first. Hard right. He finds Michael. Michael over Hawkins. It's so a nine-point point ball game, so good timeout. It was a five-point game, and the timeout was called. Michael spins through the lane for two more. Johnny Dawkins. 435 remaining. Jordan operating in the paint. Hits the short jumper. His outside shots are falling, so he's shooting them more. 72-65, Philadelphia. Michael over Mahorn. Two more. Third, Hawkins from the top of the circle. No, rebound, Paxson. That's his first open jump shot out of the offense he's had. Michael. He has 31, and it's a two-point game. Now Pippen slips. His... Remember, Michael's well-rested. And he has a chance for a three-point play. Six for Jordan in the game. The difference in the game right now, Chicago's getting these kind of baskets. Things going to the hoop. Michael Jordan there with a beautiful shotting right now, Pete. Chicago up by three. Michael takes it over Hersey Hawkins and nails it. The rebound pulled away by Cartwright. Back to Michael Jordan. Nope. Two misses by Jordan that trip. Mahorn the rebound. Sixers on the run. Trying to get back within three, but there's Michael again. How in the world did he save that ball? How did he get down there so quick? Now, Michael Jordan is out of this play. Johnny Dawkins throws the bounce pass. And look at the tremendous effort. Then the hustle. Charles Barkley's looking like, where did he go? And here's Michael with the great hustle and saving it. They rolled out the red carpet for Michael here in Chicago. Let's see if Michael tries to drive it to get to the foul line. The screen set by Cartwright. Three spike over two more. He has 41 points. 97, 92, Chicago. Time out. Philadelphia. There he is. They get it to him. He operates along the baseline. A couple of those incredible moves of his for two more. He has 43. The lead back up to three with one minute to play. It's a critical possession for Philadelphia right here. It's a four, Jim. They've out-rebounded them at the offensive board, 24 to 15 in the two games. A terrific shot by Michael Jordan as he got up. Three-point attempt, and this one right down the heart of the basket. Here is Pippen. Now he whips to Jordan, and a two-pointer that time. Vert that into a sixer turnover. Watch for threes. Right on target, Jordan now with 12. Jordan, and he'll get a free throw out of it as well. But watch this maneuver. He's going to get a double team. He breaks the double team, spins down, changes direction in the air, and lays it in softly after he's been bumped by... Jordan now runs off the screen game like this and their great athletic ability enables them to play great defense and create things Michael like this Jordan. and there's the ball and there's the quick turnaround and there's the finish that's the unstoppable move of Jordan when he just surprised a few folks by going all the way himself for three, and he's got Jordan, a three-pointer. 28 points now, and a breakout here. 
Oh my. Hawkins turning around in disbelief. But the foul is called and 30 points now for Michael Jordan. He'll have a chance for one more. Michael Jordan shooting one. Look at Michael. This is some play. John Dawkins makes a swipe at the ball. Percy tries to stop Michael once he's airborne, but it just doesn't work out. Jordan fakes by Ron Anderson, leaning in oh, and floating in the air. 33 for Jordan. Jump in the air to make a pass. Seldom pays off for you. Michael and Jordan. right back the other way. Oh, no. for two. 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 Foot on the line. Two. Hawkins had three on three and then wisely backs it up. Here's a steal. You can see it coming. Michael J. Jordan. Michael Jordan. Great pass. Intimidated, perhaps, by Jordan, who comes back, firing the other end. Gets All three. And three. All right, here come the Bulls. Jordan and Armstrong. Jordan breaks right by and scores. It's at two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Two minutes. The alley-oop, and there he is. Michael Hang Jordan. gliding. Down to single digits now. The pressure applied by the Bulls as... Completely changed the course of this game here in the fourth quarter for three. How about a 113-110 game with 54 seconds left. And Michael Jordan rising to the new levels once again. 47 points. Jordan over Hawkins and Michael Jordan getting off early. Key matchups for Chicago. Horace Grant on Barkley and King. Being defended by Mahorn. Jordan, always a key person, period. Chicago much prefers an up-tempo game. Jordan to King. Big surprise. Jaminski usually effective in this series from 18 feet. Now he's scoring inside. Jordan. A concentrated effort on Jordan's part to the lineup now for the Chicago Bulls, replacing Stacey King. And Jordan comes over to block Barkley's shot. And Horace Grant aggressively on the boards. This is Michael. Great move by Jordan. Really need his outside shooting on that rotation of any kind of double teaming of Barkley. Jordan. Michael Mahorn. Can't get the roll. Jordan with the rebound. Nice pass to Ed Neely. Michael Jordan defending against Barkley in Barkley's turf. And the pass too long. And look at Michael Jordan really confusing Barkley and the passer as to where he is. Bill Cartwright, Michael Jordan, and Horace Grant the five for the Bulls. Jordan. Michael Jordan with 12. He's on the swing. Hawkins tried to slow Jordan. And it would have been the case for a mere mortal, but not for the man they call E.T. He doesn't consider it dirty. He says he's playing within the rules. He and Barkley both have said that. Jordan loses the ball. This is Dawkins. Three on two to Barkley. Traveling. And Michael Jordan comes down and just to make a statement, grabs that ball with both hands. That shot by Charles Barkley. Strong. The 32-year veteran in his final season of refereeing used those wise old eyes. And, Tommy, <laughs> you've seen that a lot. Well, I remember Earl from way back, and certainly the league is going to be missing one of the great ones because he can draw with anybody, as you're seeing right now. Gets his point across. <laughs> Not effective from down low. He has only two points, didn't score a point in game three. Jordan strips Percy Hawkins. Is hammered by Rick Mahorn, so a graphic indication of the no layup rule that Philadelphia has instituted for this series. And you know what uh, Michael Jordan did after the hit? Blew a big bubble with his bubble gum. Didn't bother him really. He, he stepped up it. to the line. Now Jordan had indicated to our Jim Gray that he didn't grow up playing basketball this way out there on the, the clay courts. He said, we play more finesse ball. Rick Mahorn had a nice response for him. He said he's got to play. He should have grown up in the city. 
That's where you learn all this other stuff. Well, Jordan learned everything else from somebody from Mars, indeed, because he is definitely in a world all his own. Only got a couple more weeks. You think he could survive a couple of more weeks? After 32 years. Jordan. What a play by Jordan. And Charles Barkley does what he just did to rookies and veterans alike. And Michael Jordan. Equal opportunity abuser. A little bit at this key juncture. And a quick defensive move by Jordan. You're going to see a great look by Barkley down inside the thorn, but there's Michael Jordan just waiting at the pass to cut him off. Jordan with the rebound. Five rebounds for Michael Jordan. B.J. Armstrong back to Jordan for three. And for three for Michael Jordan. And Jordan, as if he hasn't been warm already, has just dropped in his 30th point under 10 to play. Jordan, over top of everyone. Well, what do you do on a play like that? And don't forget, he's playing against a guy who was a great rebounder. His job is not to get rebounds himself, but to make Barkley. King, Grant, Cartwright, and B.J. Armstrong, the five for Chicago. But it's Michael Jordan's show today. Michael Jordan drops in his 36th point. This is the man with the ball in his hands, Michael Jordan. And a matchup, Charles Barkley defending Jordan. He's got Jordan out high. Jordan with the quickness advantage. And he uses it and capitalizes on it. Barkley up challenging him. Quick step around and a speed. Barkley has to release him. Lifts one man on one side of the basket, but the other side of the hoop wide open. That's what he does. He advantage at four positions right now. Philadelphia has a foul to give, but not like that as Michael Jordan goes over top of Mike Jeminski. And Jeminski with the foul. So Michael Jordan. Well, right now. He's going out, Barkley trying to defend this man. Mahorn tries to step up and double him. No way, Jaminski trying to get that quick. See you later. Place and have people cutting to the hoop. We see Stacy King got double teamed the ball with block. Michael gets involved and he gets two more. Philadelphia five out of 10 from the field. Chicago only two out of seven. That's Michael. Three out of eight now. Jordan has four. And that's one reason why they're looking to him early tonight, try to get him a little more involved. Jordan, for two more. Jordan involved. Percy Hawkins, who has had some assignment this series, trying to guard that man, Michael Jordan. Rebound pulled away by Grant. Grant off to Paxson. Paxson front court, runs the Chicago break to Michael. Outlet pass to Barkley behind the back, stolen by Jordan. Jordan starts it up the other way to Scotty Pippen. Two. It's a one point Philadelphia lead. Around the pick set by Cartwright, around it again. End of the paint, fall away jumper goes to Michael. He has 12 in the first quarter. Looking for Michael, finds him. Michael is left uncovered. And you never win when you do that. 14 points for Michael Jordan. And notice how much daylight there is between Hawkins and Jordan. And there's no way that he's going to have a chance to control him, particularly when the stroke is as true as it is from the outside. Michael Jordan, the rebound. Pulls up, hits the 15 footer. Philadelphia by one under a minute to go in the half. Michael. Jordan the lead back to Chicago. Chicago reloads for another opportunity. Only six turnovers for the Sixers. Michael Jordan, 23 points. Another rebound for Horace Grant, his fifth. Off to Michael Jordan. For three. Another turnover, pass to Jordan. Listen to this place.
Anderson on him. He'll take the jumper over him and hit it. Stacy came to BJ Armstrong. Little short. There's Michael. For two more. 33 for Jordan. For the 76ers, they get the scoring opportunity that they want. Kaminsky gets that one, but again, it's from the outside. Anderson. Like he's turned it up a notch in his fourth quarter as he's been doing throughout this series. Chicago with a 10-point lead. 95-85, Michael. He's taking over. Double team from Lambeer. Back to Jordan for three. Got it. A one of seven from the field. Pistons are two of eight. So cold shooting or good defense by both teams. Continuation foul. Count the basket. Well, on that play, Vern, you can take your pick. It was good defense there, and it certainly wasn't cold shooting. Michael Jordan's about to warm it up. But again, you see Dennis Rodman step over a bit too late. If the Jordan rules hold true, Rodman should step over. I think it should have been called on Dumars. Now they've changed it, we are told. Need to attack against the pressure. Now to you, Jordan. Trouble controlling. No trouble putting it in. Benny Johnson has come in the lineup now. And he is guarding Jordan. There's Michael. Got it. Michael. Pass key and goes up. Very difficult for a postman to guard him. Now look at the triple team as Sally and Rodman collapsed on Jordan. And Jordan is still down. Michael is on the floor. Here's Sally underneath. Shot no good. Jordan just now getting to his feet, but lipping badly. And how physical Detroit plays defense here. Three guys sandwich Michael Jordan. He puts it up. Now Michael Jordan goes down. He's in obvious pain. And here from another angle, we see the three guys in the lane, and they want to seal him away from the basket. But being in such obvious pain, as the ball went down on the other side, Jordan gets back up. Here again, the implementation of the Jordan rules. Three guys are going to be around him at every turn, particularly when he's about to shoot the ball. Michael, two more. First two of the quarter. He's got 16. Open floor. And I'm sorry, open floor situation. Michael Jordan, as he comes up limping again. You see in the open floor, this is a transition basket. Michael Jordan down the right sideline. Rodman and Jordan this time. Blocking foul, Dennis Rodman. Now by Jake O'Donnell to the dismay of this sellout crowd. And Jordan's on the floor again. Michael Jordan, as we said, went out with a hip injury at the end of the first quarter. Have you noticed a de deficiency in his play or a dropped uh, element of it? Well, no, certainly when he gets his hands on the ball. No, <laughs> there's right the answer. Now, <laughs> and we'll see here. Thank you. <laughs> Hell, defensively, Michael Jordan would be in trouble on the defense right now. In the corner, B.J. Armstrong. Jordan, there's the triple on Jordan, and he goes right over Thomas and Rodman and Dumars. And he said, you know, that little salve that you rub on little hurts. The ball is the same thing when you got great players, and he limps. Do you believe? Oh, of course you do. Michael Jordan's three-pointer at the buzzer. Watch the mid-air adjustment, Len Elmore. Well, again, we mentioned reaction on defense when you're on. Grant back to Jordan. Gets caught in this match and began his first basket of this half. 28, what a matchup. And there they are. Two more for Jordan. Has 10. That equals his playoff average. Here's Jordan at the other end. Kisses the glass and gets two. He's got seven and a half now. Off to Grant. Rodman with a knock away. Isaiah's got it. Driving on Jordan. Michael Jordan somehow tapped it away. Here's Paxson trying for three. It's through. And to one run. Eight and a half left in the half. Jordan lost it. Scott Hastings has it. He'll drive and get it swatted away. But see George as Scott jumps out he makes the steal he just doesn't have the speed to get away from Jordan Jordan makes a great recovery Michael Jordan against Vinny alley-oop to Pippen and he got it down Grant now Paxson has it in the corner top side now to Jordan he's Dumar's job right now Michael sends it and handles the ball 
Jordan against Dumars backs him in wheels deals he's three out of nine from the field. Jordan fades fires uh oh if you're a Detroit fan. So Jordan still is relatively quiet. He just got a little more here. The other way we're getting down to cases here four minutes left in the third great pass Grant. 340 remaining third period. Jordan leaves it. Hodges, yes. Bulls with a chance to tie it up. Jordan goes right around Dumars and a beautiful move. His hip must be okay. So at least three shots forcing him into misses. Jordan hits a three. Forward. Jordan coming off the screen. Chicago can't get away, Dick, from the fact that they attacked the basket. There you go. Jordan. Michael Jordan the rebound and a chance to cut the lead to two. And he does. Oh. Higher scoring game than what they have now. That was Jordan who tipped it in. Chicago must cut it down. They'll give you the scoring in a second. Jordan gets another chance to score. <laughs> Posting up against Dumars, Jordan. Jordan off balance. Doesn't matter. That's a highlight. That's a highlight film shot. Come on now. By Jordan. They see what's happening. Jordan in the corner. He's doing everything he can, that's for sure. Missed one, came right back and hit another one. Yeah, but his whole life, he's a scorer. Jordan goes up, gets the basket and the foul. As soon as he got fouled, he regrouped for that shot. Isaiah Thomas commits the foul. He get all the way. Jordan working inside, tries to get it into Neely, and he goes. Leads Detroit with 26 points. Jordan open hits the jumper. As Stacey King sits down. Yeah, but he got seven and a half to go. Michael Jordan breaks the tie. Like Chuck says, when it gets the playoff, Dan, Lam Lambier just focuses in on the boards. If you get in his way, he's going to move you. And Jordan hits again. Get within your offense. Winding down for five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Jordan! It's good, and a foul. Now watch in this situation. They double-team him, and then they kind of split. And Michael just went right in between Isaiah and Dumars. Jordan goes in. Uh-oh, Jordan sprained his ankle. Yes, 40 he points did. for Michael Jordan. He came down, yes. The Bulls want a timeout. And Jordan's hurting. We're going to get a report from Tim Ray, I know. Now here you have Michael. Now watch how he knights his way down inside. He's off balance. But now as he comes down, he came down, I'm pretty sure, right on Grant's foot. At least that's the way it looked from that angle. That's a shooting by Hams today. And to that, nine rebounds and five assists, and it's a typical Jordan game. So where are the Jordan rules? This is Jordan at one and one now. Rodman won't give an inch. The deck. So does Rodman and Lane Beer, and a foul against Detroit. Boy, did those three hit the deck hard. Well, Rodman played him really tough. He sent them to the baseline. Michael just blew by him. Now watch how he blows by him. Here comes Lane Beer into your picture. See, the ref says that he was moving. He was definitely there. Now, clock now. Jordan lost the ball for a second, but now the clock is running down. Three. Jordan for three. Chicago Bulls with a huge nine-point lead now. Sally is 
foul going to the basket with 2.12 remaining. Big, great, big foul because that's it for Grant. Now watch Michael here just take this shot. And as it splashes, he runs through. Catch the motion. Yes, Michael. Jordan. They got this crowd going early today. Nope, a single on Jordan with Dumars and he... Jordan finds an opening. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. For Detroit to double-team Michael. All right, less than six seconds to go in the first quarter. Jordan will get a shot left of key and hit it. And turnovers, as you saw. Here's the one-four set. Jordan. He probably has four out of the six. No foul. Aguirre screaming at Jack Neese. Jordan coming back. Big on Dumars and he hits. That's what Chicago's hoping. Jordan in the lane. Will go to the line. And Michael Jordan has gone on the line 12 and 13 times in each of the last two games. It's a 12-point game. Bulls have come back. Jordan. There it is. Jordan. and he scored anyway and 18 points for Michael Jordan. Bulls will let Rodman shoot from there all day. One minute remaining in the first half. Jordan gets by the double. Oh, oh yeah. Hard right. <laughs> Detroit's got to be shell-shocked at this point. Jordan. Now watch Jordan split the double team here. On the reverse move, here he comes. Cummins right now. Catch this pass. Look at that shovel pass, but Mark Wright was looking for it. Now, keep an eye on the faces of the people there. Here's Michael, teamed up with Dumars. Moving the feet. Now, here comes the help on the trap. See, the double team is everywhere today. Good eye, good recognition right there by Isaiah. The two in a row at one time, and that was it. Michael ducks in and gets it. 25 oh, for Jordan. Five on the shot clock. Vinnie Johnson on Jordan. Sally comes along to help. Forget it. Jordan again. As you would say, it's there all day. Yes, indeed. They've got to do something defensively over in that huddle of how they're going to cover. Michael Jordan goes oh, over and has the foul. Very hard foul. As hard as we've seen, and we've seen a lot of those kind in this series. Well, you know, at the end of the series last year, Michael Jordan made a great statement. He said, every time I play against Detroit, I feel like I've been in a fight. Watch the forearm right there. That was really a blow. So over the summer, Michael put in $40,000 worth of weights into his house to build up his body so that at this time of the year, he'd have the stamina to withstand this kind of punishment. 32 for Michael Jordan. Against Dubar's Jordan. Incredible turnaround shot, Hubie. Offensive rebounds, Pistons 4-2 over the Bulls. We get our first chance at Michael Jordan isolating, and you see him going against Dubar's and hitting the first shot. Now, Michael in Chicago. Hiding away from the screen he had set. Isaiah missing the long-range shot, and here's Michael. The beautiful hook pass to Horace Grant from off of Cartwright. Back out to Jordan, who goes down. Oh, what a shot! Yeah. Is it left-handed? He fell down. What a great pass. Oh, my God. Michael looked like he banged his knee a little bit. Tremendous yeah. pass. Left-handed. Yeah. You say he plays well in the air? Well, he also plays well on the ground. This is Earth Jordan. <laughs> Earth Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan comes off the weak side out of nowhere, gets the pass for him, but as everybody's looking... Cartwright with a bounce pass to Jordan, who got back to Dumars, went to the left hand, drew the foul from Sally. The three-point opportunity, Magic Johnson, you're with us across the floor. There's the Jordan penetration and the foul. Magic, tell us a little bit as we look at this replay about repeating. You know about that with the Lakers. Can Detroit keep the fire alive? Well, they, got, they have the fire, but... 62. Michael Jordan elevating for the Bulls and getting it down behind the foul line. Horace Grant. He and Pippen and Purdue, and Jordan and Hodges on the floor. Michael coast to coast and scoops and scores. Dumars has done a whale of a job on Michael tonight. Michael, Jordan. It's 
percent at home, only 37 percent on the road. Well, Michael Jordan played only 39 minutes in Game Five. Here is the jump shot by Jordan. He's got two baskets, but hadn't played that well in the series. He gets an early two. Jordan, 17 points. And the Pistons are back to their game plan, making Jordan work. Zone rebound. Hearn, his shot is flat. It looks as though he may not be getting leg injury. For Horace Grant, he's right at his per game average in the series. Jordan. Fade away. Third quarter. Three point Chicago halftime lead. They got it as high as seven in this quarter. Michael Jordan. As high as nine, and that's where it is right now, at nine. Chicago has not trailed since it was 17-16 Detroit. Jordan for two more. Down to within three in a tightly played game. Jordan for three. Side, if I just comes off the double, to leave Jordan open down the lane. As wide as the offensive player so the Bulls are setting up, the Piston defenders have to follow them. They're too slow in getting down the lane in order to close it off. What a save by Jordan. Pippen, welcome to the broadcast, Scotty. By James Edwards. I think these guys want this game. do it for your offense to get the ball to other people. Scotty Pippen will get a rest because he's going to be needed somewhere down here for offense. Michael Jordan cuts the margin to three, but the Bulls will slow it up. Michael Jordan. Rest at the final 156 of the first quarter. Michael Jordan. Jordan is three out of nine. Here's a grand steal. Benny Johnson took an elbow, and Jordan gets the rebound. Coming in, because the last 10 games that have gone to a Game 7 of the NBA playoffs have been won by the home team. But Jordan opens up the second half. The teams that do fly chartered aircraft. Here's Michael Jordan in the baseline. Right now, let's check in with Pat O'Brien. Pat? Vernon, the last time out, the Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan had his own team meeting. This misses the three-pointer. Jordan goes by Dumars. Over Edwards, two Michael. more. Michael now, 8 of 16. Jordan. Nice, soft bounce. Thinks about a three, but Benny Johnson comes out. Johnson on the court now for Detroit. Underneath, there's the thing he sees right there. What Chuck Daly wanted, the first four points of the quarter belong to Detroit. And now Jordan, where the Pistons playing their first game number seven at home. Michael Jordan count the basket, and he will shoot a free throw. Here, Michael Jordan takes advantage of it. Again, getting pushed off the block where he'd rather be. But this time, he takes the, the whole interior defense of the Pistons to the basket. Another look, the same thing. Back to Jordan with the first 24. You're looking at a team right now fighting for their lives, and it's Ratchet and Claude. Five minutes to go. Lead back to 14. Dumas and Jordan. More magic from Michael on CBS. Stifling Detroit Piston defense holds the Chicago Bulls to 28 of 90, 31 percent. But Michael Jordan had 31, and he's with Pat O'Brien. Right, Vern, Michael Jordan here in the midst of the celebration. What are you saying to the other players, Mike? All you can do is wish them good luck. I mean, uh, you know, we fought hard. You know, they were the better team. We went to a, ga a, a seven-game series. What more can we ask for? You know, we want to be where they are. But we still got to win our turn. We're still trying to improve our team. They were the better team, and they played better today. What's your emotion now, Michael? Sadness? Uh, frustration? You no, know, sadly, I'm disappointed, you know, because I wanted to go further. But I got to accept the season that we played. We had a good season. We got this far. We got to look forward to next season. That's the only thing we can do. Gave it a hell of a run. Thank you. Vern? 
Right. So first things first, I just want to say I appreciate the viewership. I would also appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, a couple small points I wanted to make before we get into the heavier things. Number one, I just want to point out that the black and silver fives that Mike wore, even in the All-Star game, um, they did have the PE exclusive 23 on the heel that didn't release uh, to the public. The public version was blank there, but his version did have that white 23 stitched in there. Um, they did release once like that, I believe it was, or twice, excuse me. The 2007 Retro and the 2011 Retro both did release with the 23 on the heel, but it wasn't the same font as the original um, font, as the 23, as, as Mike's original pairs. And the font that they did use when they put the 23 on the Fire Red pair that released to the public with the 23. Just wanted to point that out. And then also, if you notice, um, the year before, in the 1989 playoffs, the Bulls went to black shoes for the playoffs for Team Unity. It was the idea of, of Brad Sellers. So for the 1990 playoffs, I guess they wanted to take it a step further. They continued with the black shoes, but then in the first round, they all wore white accessories. So white wristbands and white uh, compression shorts under the Bulls shorts, if you notice. Now, for whatever reason... Mike didn't go with the white wristband. Um, I don't know if he could, if it, if it was because he couldn't get one. He actually did wear Jordan wristbands. If you um, obviously you're not allowed to wear branded accessories in the NBA. I think even, even now you can't do that. But he did wear Jordan wristbands. But he would turn it so that the jump man was facing on the inner side of his forearm, so the jump man wasn't showing. But it was a, a Jordan branded wristband that he would wear. I don't know if they just couldn't make him a white one or whatever. But um, all the other players were wearing that did wear wristbands were wearing white wristbands, and then Mike included with everyone else was wearing white compression shorts. And then in the second round against Philadelphia, they went to red, so everyone was wearing red accessories, you know, wristbands, compression shorts. And then against Detroit, of course, they go back to their their standard black. Now this was the only time they did this, I guess, maybe because they <laughs> they ended up losing to Detroit, and they figured all that didn't it didn't work, so. This is the only time they did this, but I did want to, I did think it's, I always thought it was interesting how they did it for that one year um, to go a step further with the, the team unity beyond the, just the black shoes and color match accessories for uh, each playoff round. Next thing was the year before when they got to the conference finals and lost to Detroit, that was the furthest they had been in the playoffs. Maybe ever, but definitely during the Michael Jordan era. And then, of course, that was after, or after that was when Mike, you know, got that the, the gym set up at his at his house and he started lifting weights. So I did want to point out that throughout that entire 1990 season, you could see, or at least I could see the difference. Mike was noticeably bigger, even though he wasn't much bigger, but he was. You could tell he was. He had put a little muscle weight on, um, and he was still light on his feet, though. So, I mean, I, I, I would take the position that the 1990 season may have been that, that balance, that perfect balance between Mike's natural build and his natural athleticism and quickness fully being there while still being able to put on some, some muscle weight and gain that strength. Because if you notice, the, through the next couple seasons, the 91, 92, 93 season, he kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and noticeably bigger. And he was still, obviously he was still explosive. But you could see just little by little by little, he wasn't quite as, as, as swift-footed as he had been, if that makes sense. Um, at least not to me. To me, it seemed like he, he didn't lose a step, but he was noticeably carrying extra weight. So he was almost becoming more of a power player as opposed to a purely quick player, if that, if that makes sense. Um, like I said, that doesn't mean to say that he wasn't quick or he lost a step or anything like that. But I could, in my view, the extra weight was slightly affecting his 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 overall foot speed as a, as a, as a player. And then the last thing I want to point out was, you know, going through these highlights. These are highlights that I you know I watch these all the time. Um, but just going through, especially that that last series against Detroit, it was pretty clear that the, the Bulls they just weren't ready. They ju they just weren't ready. They were almost there, but not quite. You know, the series won seven games. It was a home game series, so they couldn't win one in Detroit, but then Detroit could not beat them in Chicago either. 
But I mean that game seven, game seven ended up being a blowout. So they just didn't have that that extra thing that they needed to be able to win in Detroit. Um, physically, I think they were they were almost there, but not quite. Mentally, is, I think was where the you know the biggest gap was between them and Detroit. Um, obviously, they had lost to Detroit in the Conference Finals in '89, and then in the second round in '88. So, and I think that the series going seven, and then they were so close, but at the same time not close because Game Seven was a blowout. So I think that's what really spurred them on going into the next season, where you know a lot of the players came early, started working out in the off season, you know, to really where their eyes set, like we're not losing to Detroit again. So, and it, it showed itself during the regular season in 1991, where they end up having the home court advantage. So even if they had been at the same level they were the year before, you know, they were able to defend the home court in 1990. So if it had gone the exact same way. Most like, you know, Game 7 would have been in Chicago and they would have had that extra little mental edge or that little confidence booster in that Game 7. But obviously they had prepped so much and so hard um, for Detroit again where, where they entered that series. Obviously they, they win the first two games in Chicago and then that's the extra confidence booster. So you go into Detroit up 2-0 already, smelling blood. You, know, you lost to this team the last three years. And obviously Detroit put up a fight. They put up a good fight in Game Three and Game Four. But yeah, Chicago. That at that point they they weren't losing again. They had taken that extra step that they didn't have in 1990, both physically and mentally, where they weren't gonna just be fighting the bully. You know, they weren't just gonna defend themselves against the bully. They were gonna be on attack against the bully. Um, and it showed itself, especially with like you know Scotty. So he'll get, you know, get a hard foul, no retaliation whatsoever. Horace, he'll get elbowed. He'll want to, you know, want to, you know, retaliate initially and then hold himself back. And, and then at that point, they had built their confidence up. And Mike had, you know, had more confidence in his teammates to trust, more trust in his teammates. So they really was able to play as a team. And once they were playing as a team and playing confident and had that, that, that physical level where they could match Detroit's physical play, and then they had risen themselves mentally to be able to match or be able to mentally prepare for what Detroit was going to bring physically and mentally and playing in Detroit. It was a wrap. It was a wrap, you know. And I think um, even, um, oh shit, his name is, is, is escaping right now. Dumars. Joe Dumars was on record that, you know, once they were playing as a team and it wasn't all through Mike and they couldn't just draw the rules and, you know, they weren't responding to hard fouls and... It, he, he said it himself. It was it was over. It was nothing they could do, and and we saw it manifest in the fact that the series, four game series, it was a sweep. And I think um, what was that twenty something games that Chicago won on a win streak. Detroit didn't beat them regular season or playoffs. Obviously, they didn't play in the playoffs anymore. But even like regular season, it was like a twenty five something game win streak against Detroit after they swept them. One of you guys can let me know down in the comments exactly how many games it was. But I know they wanted a hell of a long win streak for several seasons without losing to Detroit at all in the regular season. Um, and that just goes to show you how much that, you know, that pent up energy they had built up against Detroit, losing to them so much and in the fashion that they were losing to them. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, more videos to come. Peace. I don't have to do this. I'm only doing it because it is who I am. That's how I played the game. That was my mentality. If you don't want to play that way, don't play that way. Break.